Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting between two episodes three and four of Noble Lady Naughtiness. Let's go ahead and get started with episode three. And three, two, one, go. So yeah, originally I was supposed to watch this on Sunday. <sighs> yeah. showdown <laughs> really both both uh oh I'll take coffee but tea's really good though too Oh. You give me mega mean vibes. Letters. Oh. Oh. Hmm. No, 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 Charlotte, it's okay. You were just curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Seriously? Right. <laughs> right. Well, okay, mm, friends. Yeah. 
Did we really have to say the whole life story of how y'all two be met? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's kind of necessary, but at the same time, no. She's right. So, what, you're going to live here and stay with them? Okay, but the naughtiness you teach, it, it's just like child naughtiness. It, she's kind of right about that, but then if you do that in the same way with her, then it's okay. I mean... I, this is just like 50 states of magical girls, but you know, hey, whatever floats your boat. I mean, not really. It's not like that, but you know. Yeah, but you did the thing of, oh, hey, we're going to eat sweets. I mean, yeah, that is not even like that's more childish, but um, it depends. Oh, you look pretty with black hair. Yeah. No. Looks nice on her. <laughs> right <laughs> once again guys are like you guys are smart some guys are smart oh it looks so cute but at the same time like some y'all can be really Read the signs. Read the room. When we tell you something and we mean something behind it, read the room. <laughs> Probably. He just still sounds like a protective boyfriend slash dad. And you know what? That's okay. I love that. I do. He's a gentleman. But, like, at the same time, like, yes, as much as I love me some gentleman, I don't always want a gentleman. But be, be, in, the, be in the mix. Have a mixture of both. 
Make me happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Had to take away the horny thoughts. <laughs> Right? You just seem like the type of person who only cares about himself, but yeah, you're taking and considerate for others. What's wrong? Oh, it's super casual. I like it. It's just shorts. It's cute. <laughs> oh. But still. Bye, you're so sweet. <laughs> Because I didn't care about her. Okay, I I'm in, in agreement about that. You know, you do what you gotta do. You gotta turn me in, you gotta turn me in. Oh, nothing. Don't worry. Your pretty little head. Yeah. <laughs> But you should pick out an outfit for her. I mean, same. Is it revealing? Is it bad that I kind of really want her hair to be black for the rest of the series? I 
saying, it, but hold on, splurging is just still treating yourself in a nutshell. And, and me, I kind of do that a little too much, but I deserve it. Especially after all the years. Splurging is good, but it, it's just, you have to have a limit. I don't know. It looks like a bomb. Isn't that a... Uh, no, I thought you were looking at the capybana. Okay, for an example, there, there's one thing that I really want to buy. So, as a girl who loves the crap out of jewelry, I mean, hence, right here, even though I'm not really wearing it right now, um, Pandora has this really cute ring, really mainly for Cinderella, but it's a lot of money. It's like a hundred and something dollars, and, and I'm like, am I willing to pay a hundred and something dollars for this little ring? Am I... And I gotta save money at the same time too for a car and everything else. Can I eat? Just right. Oh. oh, cool. Bye. Oh my god. Ah! Don't you like her? Ew.
<laughs> Damn. You're too sweet. What the what the heck is that? I mean that's a foot toe, but <laughs> Her name is very similar to Erica, but Yuka. Her, her name is really pretty. Like, oh my god, just you never know how names can be just pretty and unique. But she is, she does give me the Mega Man vibes. Like, seriously, especially with her relationship with her stepbrother. Like, you'd be like, hello, idiots. Mm hmm. Mega Man and Cosmo. <laughs> Because uh, they are idiots, it, it, they, but they're lovable idiots. I love the fact that you know they took her out shopping for Charlotte. That's so freaking sweet. I mean, because like I don't, mm, I hate to say this, like it, in a moment for a little bit, I kind of got like pretty woman vibes, especially you know when he gave her you know the jewelry and stuff, the brooch for her hair and everything. That was like freaking cute. But I can't really say pretty woman because you know she was. And, and no, Charlotte's not a whore. She's a precious baby girl that we love to protect. But still, I love the fact that she's like telling both of them, like, hey, fighting's not good. It's bad. You don't want to settle for fighting. Fighting is like one of the, excuse me, the last resorts that you want to use. But I get it. You got to do what you got to do. But it, yeah, with the, the, the stone tablet of a monster coming in at the end. What the heck was that? I was not expecting that. That was not on my bingo card list for the show. But okay. I'm here for it though. But you know, over here like saying, hey, you know, I heard my lackeys is doing some ish. You know? <laughs> but I have no idea what the heck is going to happen. I mean, if these two do fight, like, it's a stone tablet monster. So can it really take anything? I mean, maybe some heat or something, but... I, I don't know. Suspicious. But go to pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. All right, episode four in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Two of them just laying on the floor.
Oh. Imagine coming into class and finding out your teacher has a taller role. Be like, what the heck? Oh, what is Charlotte to you? No, you care for her. No. Something more. Ego. I mean, you know, saying A, hey, but you know, I would have preferred it to be my, but it's okay. It's okay. One day, we'll see that in the show. What happened? Obviously. Well, you're all doom and gloom over here, and you're really depressing, so what else could it be? No. And that's okay. So basically, long story is he wants to pay her, but she's like, no, I don't want to accept. Like, I don't want to make it look like I'm your whore and such. But no, I get that. It's your money and you earned it. I love earning money. Earning money is good. It is. Like, ugh.
okay. <laughs> That's what he's upset about. Oh, <laughs> did you remember to change your hair color? Really? <laughs> yeah, but I think he wants to go and watch over her because he doesn't want anything bad happening to her. <laughs> right? Yeah. Does she want to come and get pancakes? Or was it... Okay, maybe she wants to get you something. You're too embarrassed by it. Yeah, something tells me she's gonna get you something. It's cute. Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> what?
<laughs> Good job, boys. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, don't say that. She likes being with you. If she didn't, she wouldn't be in this situation with you right now. She wouldn't be living with you. She wouldn't have met everyone else. And yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Kitty Patootie with the pervert boyfriend. <laughs> Even though they're not a couple. Of course. Yeah, and she'll let you know.
Não. <laughs> mm -hmm. You did a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, of course, for her safety, but not only you did it for her, you did it for the whole townspeople. No. <laughs> It was good. But nothing for him, though? Yeah, but I mean, it's her being nice, so take it. Stop. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. I can't. But the fact is, she went out, spent her first paycheck on her brother and Mia. It is cute. Well, not on her, on her, on his sister and Mia. 
It's adorable. But the fact is that she couldn't find anything for him is, yeah, I, I, and I totally get that. Because, like, yeah, when you're trying to find something for everybody, aka, you know, when it's Christmas or something, you're like, god dang, what am I supposed to buy for, like, my significant other friends, family, whoever, and you just also have that one person who's like, what do I really buy for them? I don't know. Or when it was like this year for me, because I've really bought like everything for myself that I've truly wanted. Um, my mom was like, well, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, I really don't know because I have everything that I wanted. And so in the end, like my Christmas gift was the band and the jewelry and the face plate and stuff and i was like okay i i love it like it, it's always a thought that counts and so i think that's really sweet and such and so if she does end up finding something besides you know mending his robe which is really sweet that's like the the homemade way like i can't it's too much they, they're just adorable Give them the whole freaking world. Or, like, if we do, like, a Valentine's Day episode or something, give them some chocolate. Make some homemade chocolate something. That would be so freaking cute and adorable. Oh. Mm. Of course, like, since we're going on a hot spring, of course she's going to be in a bikini and he's going to freak out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just right in that plot there. Yes. <laughs> But no, seriously. And it does make me wonder, like, if he's going to, like, let's say she gets something right for him and he returns the favor. He gets a favor. I'm going to cry in the corner. Yes. Yes. Like, if that happens, oh my God. Once again, they're so freaking cute together and I cannot with them. So fucking adorable. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes three and four of Noble Lady Naughtiness. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.